pick. Dude, Let's continue to make picks, I Charles. I have like seven hundred percent. And the I'm first good. one I want to start with is yes, your guys. Let's do the it. The Albuquerque High Bulldogs, Bulldogs will finish off their season, taking on. Look, I, this is a game they could win. West Mesa. All right. Mm -hmm. The Bulldogs. We all know their losing streak and how Curtis Flakes rolled through, and and now they've won three games. I've picked all three games that they've won. So I think the question here is for the Bulldogs if I'm going to pick them. Because if I'm going to pick them, then they're going to win. That's kind of historically how it's gone, right, Charles? Are you trying to set up a teaser or something? No, I mean, get just, to the point, no, man. You know, I'm going to save it. I'm going to want to hear <laughs> okay, what you Okay, this have is to what say. I'm going with Riley Padilla, junior quarterback. Riley has passed for over 1,100 yards. Only 10 touchdowns in the air, but you know what? He does a lot with his feet. Like this. Limited Roll on turnovers. He only, he's only thrown three interceptions. I think the Bulldogs' confidence is they're riding high. They got three victories. They look at this West Mesa game as we can beat these guys and we're going to beat these guys because you know what? That's what's going to happen tonight, Adam. Tonight is going down. The Bulldogs will get four victories on the season, but I'm going with just a wild game. 35 32. Just a crazy I game. like everything you said. I like Padilla. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he's just got this desire to win, right? It's, it's He kind of always figures out a way to make a play, even mm -hmm. if it looks bad. I love what Curtis Flex has done. And these Bulldogs have won three games, and they're going to make it four next year because <laughs> they're not going to win a fourth oh. game this year because I'm going with my man Zach Schreier all day long. 150 receiving yards. I think he's going to have about 60 or 7 rushing yards out of that Wildcat formation. Um, we've seen Marcus Gonzalez up and at down. quarterback up and up down. And I think this is an up game for them. I think the line of scrimmage is a little bit better for West Mesa. Usually they don't have the advantage. Yeah. This game up in the trenches, they are going to have the advantage. I think it's tight. Yeah. I think it's really close. I'm going to go 38 to 34. Mm, okay. I think, I think you're going to see a Sabian a Morales 50-yard field goal maybe. And I'm going to go with the West Mesa Mustangs and Coach McMath. We, we agree. I, we both see a shootout. I, 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 you know how you feel that that type of game that's going to happen? I think this is going to be one of those games that Albuquerque High takes into next year and say, guys, we end it well. Win or loss is going to be one of those really just memorable games. Agreed. So, I, I'm actually we'll really there. interested yeah. in seeing the outcome of this one. There is another one that has a little bit more ramifications because yes. both of these teams could or could not be in the playoffs. We know the La Cueva Bears have clinched District 2 6A. Yeah. They're cruising right now. They're going to get a top four seed, potentially a two seed, depending on how things play out. So they are playing for something, these Bears, at Wilson Stadium. But they're taking on the Manzano Monarchs. And Charles, the Manzano Monarchs have slipped up as of late, and they yeah. could finish with a losing record. And now begs the question is, do they slip into the playoffs? We know they have the weapons. We know they have everything they need to move on. Uh, a win like this against La Cueva surely would not just put them in, but give them a, a better seed. But a loss could potentially be devastating to any chance that they would get to, to go in the playoffs. How do you see this? This is one of those games where uh, all week you've been saying La Cueva, they, they have it, they're going to be okay. You know, they're not going to play as hard. I think this is a statement game. La Cueva's going to come out. They're going to play really hard. They're going to be really physical. Manzano, I do agree. If they win Look this the game, they're Look at in the Isaiah great. Cordova. How this, big of a game does Isaiah Cordova What Cordova I'm nervous have about is Brandon Bray. He hasn't protected the ball lately. He's no. thrown eight picks. Uh, I need the, Manzano needs their playmakers to make plays. So Charles Conti, Perez, Cordova. These guys need to make pl plays, but Bray needs to protect Constant, the ball. Constant, Potter, uh, I agree. Isaiah Cordova. Is a guy. It's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be an interest because Mitch Cueva, Cantwell. How good is Mitch Cantwell? I love the way. I love the guy. I love. I love him, bro. He is a monster down there on both sides of the field. Uh, you got Javon Jones doing things, and you got Noah Hill. Look, Cueva sticking to the bread and butter. Right? Look at Get that out block. Of my way. <laughs> That's what they do so well. They just run the ball. They beat you up. And but this guy. He's, he is the dark horse, I think. He, he has to be, he's that wild card. Bray has to play really well, and I can see Manzano keeping it close, but I'm going to go with the, the Bears. I've been on the Bears bandwagon all year. I'm not going to jump off yet. I'm going to stay on it. Uh, I'm going with the Bears with a nice W28. 17. Everybody knows how much I hate to disagree with you, Charles. I just don't <laughs> like it. I, I would prefer to argue with you and debate this uh, with you. But I think you're right. I think the more I think about it, I think earlier this week I, I thought I was going to go with Manzano. 
but the more I think about the game and the matchup, I just think the Bears' physicality outmatches Manzano's physicality, which is slick. Coach Adcock, Ad, Chad Adcox is doing a great job. Okay, uh, Mitch Cantwell and Javon Jones are going to have monster games tonight. I'm going to go 35-17, maybe 35-24, wow. somewhere in there. And I think LaCueva controls the tempo of this game. Um, and they're going to get a great seat. Now begs the question, does Manzano get into the playoffs, Charles? And that yes. is going to be interesting because we have to wait and see what happens with Hobbs mm -hmm. and Clovis, and we have to wait and see what happens with Carlsbad and Alamogordo. So we both say is going to win, and quickly, before we get to break here, let's talk about Carlsbad then and Alamogordo mm -hmm. because we know there's a potential spot where two of these district teams can get into the playoffs and maybe steal a bid from Manzano or Cibola. We think it would be Cibola, but... You know what? I, I, I got a strange feeling, and I've been saying it all week. I'm not going to back down. I think Carlsbad is going to go in there. They're going to get this W, and they're going to completely shake up the, the, the selection process. They're going to go in there. They're, they're well, confident. They've played close the games. The only way they, they can game. shake it up is if Clovis loses. Which... Okay, so Clovis has to lose to Hobbs for any of the shakeup yes. to actually happen. If Clovis beats Hobbs, I'm pretty sure Manzano and Siebel are safe. <laughs> if Clovis does not beat Hobbs, then there's going to be a mess. And I think one of the uh -huh. two, Manzano and Siebel, one of them won't make it in. And we're thinking it's Siebel because they were getting crushed by Manzano earlier in the season. So who um, you got, Carl's better? Uh, I'm going to go Alamogordo okay. on this one. I say they win it 27-17. to 17. I'm going to go Tigers. I keep picking the Tigers. I think the cavemen are just going to go so and put a on, stuffing Alan on Gordo. these guys. Don't, don't do me wrong here. I picked you for the third straight <laughs> week. you got to win one of these ones, right? I want to pick Kyle Hooper and the Tigers, man, but I just can't because you guys let me down the last three weeks. i got to go with call. the cavemen. They're going to go down there. They're going to club these guys. It's gonna okay. Be a wrap. They're going to club them. That's a little bit out of control. 28, 21. Might have took that, that type of too far. Okay. Caveman clubbing. All right, I'm going to go <laughs> Alamo. Uh, when we return, we're going to break down the best of the week, including Mayfield and Crucis. That is huge. Over 20,000 plus going to be there. And of course, Cleveland Real Rancho. Come on back. Let's drive down there right now. Let's go make the game. Man, I got to get out of there, you know? <laughs>